I've done nearly 90 paintings for the Catholic Church in Spain, all of them in Andalusia. Uh, one particular church has 37 paintings in Bilches, in Jaén. Also in Catalia, there's 21 paintings making up an altarpiece. They love my work and they're very proud of it and they'll defend it. In Catalia once, a local priest from a nearby town came and visited and he was a well-respected priest in the area and he thought it looked like a discotheque with the colours and immediately the locals from Casalia just totally dismissed him, said he doesn't know what he's talking about. They were afraid of it. He was just jealous and just because his church didn't have nice new paintings. I was living in a small town and painting right beside the church and meeting all the people every day. So a lot of the faces that are in the paintings are local people. Now, not consciously, but everybody comes up to me and says, ah, that's Juan Lu, isn't it? And I go, uh, yeah. <laughs> My style is quite photographic, I've been told, in its composition. Because normally with religious paintings you have the whole figure in. But with mine I kind of zoom in and you'll get faces cut off at the edge or just close-ups. It looks like a flash from history. And that's the photographic element and I do take photographs a lot so I'm used to the medium and I think people read photographs much better than they do paintings now because they see photographs every day in newspapers, on TV so it's a medium for communication that I think everybody is, is used to I believe in God, and I have a lot of respect for all religions. The Catholic religion is the one I was brought up in, the one I know. Even though I have a lot of problems with a lot of their rules. God is nature, isn't he?
Well, I find dance culture or dancing very spiritual. You can go into trance and I, I reach a level where I'm, you know, well, you could say close to God. You know, and I think a lot of, even I wouldn't be conscious of being close to God, I'd just be totally um, free, or I'd just be somewhere that isn't on terra firma. And I get a lot of the inspiration for the paintings, for the actual paintings, for the next batch of paintings from raving, because when people are dancing so long and into trance, they have an expression on their face that is kind of sublime. <laughs> Gurning. <laughs> but it, it, that, yeah, it's some of the it's some of the, the faces of people in ecstasy. You know, they're very useful in they're very useful in painting because especially painting religious images because it's um you know the face of ecstasy of Holy Mary being lifted up to heaven. You know, it's a face of, of someone dancing absolutely totally happy. And when I'm painting, I'm concentrating incredibly hard. And then you know, after two or three weeks of painting a lot and hard, I just need to release. So I go to a rave or a club or I set up parties in the country with my friends and we just, we party. in an art gallery would be seen as kitsch, but in a church they're not.